word that anything happened without prayer. That's right. So continue to pray. Pray regularly and consistently. But most of all, I ask that you dedicate this city to our God. When I first saw that video clip of Mayor Osby Davis on the steps of City Hall, I didn't think much of it until the Vallejo Independent Bulletin received a letter from Jonathan Gordon, the president of the United Democrats of Southern Solano County. In Gordon's letter, he uh, addresses uh, Congressman George Miller regarding his endorsement of Mayor Osby Davis uh, in the upcoming election. Uh, Gordon talks about connections between Osby Davis and Ed Silvoso, uh, the man standing next to the mayor in the video on the steps of Vallejo City Hall. He describes the uh, relationship between Osby Davis and Ed Silvoso in the following words. Osby Davis is directly working with Ed Silvoso, CEO of International Transformation Network, ITN. He continues to add that, quote, this movement is directly opposed to the Enlightenment values that our founding fathers embodied in the Constitution of the United States. Uh, as a result of that letter, I began to look into uh, issues surrounding uh, Harvest Evangelism, the International Transformation Network, Ed Silvoso, his uh, associate Cindy Jacobs, and what they stood for and represented. The uh, term that's commonly used in connection with their organization is dominionism, and dominionism refers to a imposition of biblical concepts as interpreted by the followers of this particular brand of Christianity on the what they refer to as the seven mountains of dominion which are arts, business, education, family, government, media, and religion. Uh, one of the issues that uh, has been raised with regards to this movement is that there seems to be a goal to breach a separation of church and state the attitudes of this group towards members of the gay community, as well as observers of other faiths, can only be characterized as highly intolerant, and that's being kind. In the following video clips, I feel that you can draw a lot of your own conclusions, or at least certainly uh, raise your curiosity as to what this is about. And what it really comes down to is a question for Mayor Osby Davis, which is, Mr. Mayor, what is your connection to this group? How does it influence your capacity to serve as mayor? Now, I want to make very clear that this is not about criticizing anybody's right to observe their religion as they see fit. But when a mayor brings individuals of this particular religion, uh, not a multi-denominational faction, but specific devotees, of this branch of Christianity into the office of the mayor and extols the virtue of the, their word on the steps of City Hall for a professional promotional video, it brings these issues into the public arena and it really does become a fair game because it has crossed out of private life and it has become part of public life. And the citizens of Vallejo deserve an explanation because we are being represented as a citizenry and as a city in connection with Ed Silvoso, Cindy Jacobs, Harvest Evangelism, and the International Transformation Network. The voters deserve to be informed. The voters deserve an answer, Mr. Mayor. I leave it to the people to look at the following clips, and make their own decisions, and most importantly, ask questions. Thank you. Page 167 of his 2007 book, Transformation, Ed Silvoso describes driving out gay demons with the power of Christian baptism. Quote, As soon as the now ex-gay man came up from the waters, he was struck by the power of God, evicting the demonic forces that had controlled him for so long and rewiring his psyche correctly to enable him to feel like a man again. He just walked the gay to the Mandela Harbor and he had read in the Bible that people were baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So he dunked him three times in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When the new believer came up from the water, the power of God hit him. 
deliver him of all the demons, rewire him correctly. He felt like a man, and he said to Joey, Man, this is great! What do we do now? Hate speech cloaked in sanctity is still hate speech. It's just slightly more insidious. We believe that Vallejo is the city of God. We're not here just to show up, just to play church. You came with an expectancy to see the glory of God in this happen city. in this city. The similarities between Vallejo City of God and Kampala City of God are unmistakable. There just seem to be fewer checks and balances in Kampala. God has chosen you to be the implementer of this new world order. And I said in my book that Uganda is poised to be the first nation to be transformed. An international movement which claims homosexuals are possessed by demons and purports to cure HIV and AIDS through faith healing and prayer has gained access to Uganda's top leaders and is engineering theocratic transformation of the nation. Key figures behind the internationally notorious Kill the Gays legislation now before Uganda's parliament are closely tied to this movement. For the global transformations effort, Uganda is a prototype. One of the attendees of Patience Museveni's church has been Ugandan parliament member David Bahati, who drafted and introduced Uganda's internationally condemned anti-homosexuality bill. Bahati's bill would mandate execution for HIV-positive Ugandans. It would also require Ugandan citizens to inform government officials of any friends, relatives, neighbors, or acquaintances who are gay. The penalty for non-compliance would be three years in prison. Ugandans accused of being gay who were turned into the government could face lifetime prison sentences. Just take a moment, take a deep breath. We have here the director of the Uganda Revenue Authority speaking on behalf of the First Lady whose daughter is the pastor of a church that is taking the point to transform Kampala. Let this moment sink in. If I may add something, when the anointing is so rich and so pioneer like this, God is doubling, doubling everything he gives. And that's why I want to say to you, thank you for the seed you are planting. So, they are collecting the offering. You know, if you just have your envelope, raise it up, the boxes will come. I thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We'll take just another minute, and then we're going to bring the servant of the Lord that has the word. Look, I never saw so many offerings waiting to be picked. So you what? Pass it on to the, to, to, to the, to the edge there. Should God be the glory Should we? that Vallejo is on its way. And that's why God sent us Cindy Jacob. He blew her into Vallejo today. Come to the glory of my race, says the Lord. The Lord says to you, Pastor, I will build my church in the gates of hell. Pornografía. Adicciones. Homosexuality. Homosexualidad. Bisexualidad. Perversion. Yeah, what happened? What did the indigenous people worship? You know, and, 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 you know, if they did blood sacrifice, like we found some areas that are very, very violent because the former culture was a murderous, violent area. Like in Texas here and all the coast around Houston and Galveston and some of that area, the Native American people were cannibals. Are these the people we want shown in connection with our city through the office of the mayor? Learn the name of your neighbors. Every day, either drive by or prayer walk, simply blessing them. I really believe in the, the message The word says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face. That's true. That's for real. So you can't believe that that's true and for real and not believe something's going to happen. I don't think you can find anywhere in our word that anything happened without prayer. That's right. So continue to pray. Pray regularly and consistently. But most of all, I ask that you dedicate this city to our God. 
And we declare that you are Lord over this city. We declare that you're Lord over Vallejo. We believe that Vallejo is the city of God. Come to the glory of my rising to the Lord. The Lord says to you, Pastor, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You're going to get property. You're going to get room. You're not just going to get a property. You're going to be able to have a gymnasium. You're going to have after school care. You're going to have tutorials. The Lord says, I'm going to cause you to cause the educational literacy rate of this city to go up. God says, I really believe in the, the message.